the youngsters have been called up to serve their team. Stay tuned and meet our brand new youth candidates right here on the channel. <laughs> Shot, he scores! What a... Hello folks, how we doing? So today, as alluded to, we have the youth intake, which I can't wait to show you guys. But not only that, we've got recent fixtures to show you, so we're going to look at the youths that have come through in the intake. We're going to go through them alphabetical order, give you my opinion on them. You guys can give me some feedback if you want, why not be renamed after yourself? Hi. Down below, let me know. Um, but first of all, I'm going to tell you this. This has been a great series so far. I know it's not exactly a brand new series, but it's reworking our old series with something new and some new context in it. So, for that, can I just say thank you? Can I also actually just say really like, a share, subscribe, comment, all the good jazz. Channel's growing, and it's thanks to you guys. So, now that that's all the way, I'm going to hop to that side of the screen, and we're going to have a look at it used together. Well, like I said, we're going to go through them in alphabetical order. So to begin with, we have Gia Sprilla, who is an attacking mid right. He looks alright. I'll probably sign him on. Brian Belskus, who is a six foot three defender, so I'll take him. Robert Brown, well he's a wide left, I'll take him. Uh, Marco De Apis, yeah, yeah, I'll take him, just for more coverage. I don't play with an attacking mid, but why not, eh? He's... No, I don't think so. Where is... Possibly? Evan... Jonop? Yeah, I'll take him on. Victor King? Mmm... He's a DM, so I do need DMs. Nick Lopez, 100%. David... Potigier? Yeah, I'll be taking him on. He's already a free star. Tristan Reyes, yep, he'll be getting taken on. Ian Romero. Mmm. Ah, he's a dubious one. Now, this is brilliant. I've got a Japanese goalkeeper, Shosaki. And I've got to say he looks really good, so he will be getting taken on. Uh, they've shown me just some random greyed out guy here. Connor Taylor, look at that. 14 finishing. Oh, he's going to be good. He's in. Liam Fabry. Yeah, he looks alright. Got way, yep, yeah, and back to Asprilla. Now, what I will tell you right here is you won't see these guys till next season. Due to the squad registration works. I can't register these guys anything during the season, unfortunately. So you'll see them next season in the team, who I take on. You never know, someone might be going this summer for big money. The way it is. But we've got to go through some transfers. We've got to go through fixtures. So, folks, bear with me. We'll get on to transfers. So transfers, right, there's been a few out, I'm not going to lie. Let's not beat around the bush. Um, made money as well. So, January, you can see it looks straight up there. Four of Mexicans left on a free. Joe Woodhouse went to Seattle, two on a free. Connor Bell left for two grand. George Marquez, five grand. John Thacker, 5.25 grand. Ahmed Aubrey, five grand. And unfortunately, my um, Jamaican under 21 international, Rafi Higginbottom, he's also gone. For five grand. So five grand are nominal fees. I'll take them. Uh, put more coffers in the club, which is happy days for me. Now, for the ends, there's only two. One was this lad here, Adam Severs, good defender, right? We also brought in sorry, Horhan Perez, a DM. I had to bring someone in. Um, he played in a cup match for us because didn't need to register for cups, but need to register for the league. You know, and then finally. Carlos Reza, a goalkeeper, 19 years old, Mexican. What is it with me and young Mexicans? Honestly, this save is full of them. Now, fixtures. It's been interesting, so I'll show you them. So, I'm going to start with the Washington Cup. And we lost 1-0 in the third round of that. The Maryland Bobcats is what it is. But I wasn't too fast, and you'll see why right now. Because we were an absolute barn burner in the uh, US Open Cup. So you can see that we, um, the last time you seen us, we bet Texas Spurs 4-0, right? We went to come against all these little, I can't remember, we bet them. And we bet Colorado 1-0, and I think that was an extra time, no it wasn't, it was a 90 minute win. And we bet the Indiana Academy 3-1 on extra time, and that was the first round, I was like, 
What was the first round proper? And then we bet Cal United. Two actual league teams. They're not like the conference, the fifth tier. They're 14 above. I was thinking, right, we're in the third round. Who are we going to draw? Well, we've got a big away tag against LA Galaxy. And for the most part, we've done ourselves proud. We only lost 2-0, and it was away. So, I'll take that. But now, league. And... So, the last game you'd have seen was the 3-2 loss to Duluth. You know it's a theme right now. Uh, Kalamazoo won, Med City won. Whole October was a win. Then we lost 3-2 again in start November, but then we just kept coming back and winning. And then we lost to St. Louis away, but then we won. And we kept winning. And then we lost at home to our rivals, but then we just kept winning again. So, yeah. The only blips have been losses and draws. There's only been one draw, so shows you. So today we're obviously playing Los Trapos, who are in fifth, but as for the league, well this is how it currently looks. And we've qualified for the playoffs, uh, we've got another, what's that, 21, so 42, 9 games to go. We're at 85 points, so we're top of the league, happy days. And you can see that we've got our top goal scorer, who is Jumez, with 48 goals. His record this season is incredible. But, I digress, now... We go and see the XI for the game. So, squad for today. Reza and goals. Stolman's out on the left. Fleming, Daniel. Servers out on the right. Perez is DM. Rasmussen, Shaw. Ramirez, Ariga and Jumez. Our 40 odd goal scorer this season. What a lad. On the bench. Equala, Valenzuela, Marshall, Sobolev, Malone. Herbert and Lopez. Now, I know there's two goals on the bench, but I had to fill out somehow, so. You know, worst comes to worst, and we got a defender injured. Boom. That's why I can't wait to get the youths hatch it in with the team. But until then, you know, we've got a defender goalie. Woohoo! Right, folks, see you in the first highlight. Alright, so we're about 20 minutes in, nothing's happened. We've had shots, and here's the first corner. Perez whips it in. Fleming. All the way back out to Perez. Shaw. Nope. And they're going to counter us. I do love this camera angle. Guys, let me know what you think of this camera angle. I know it's not one commonly used by YouTubers, but I kind of like it for football manager. Ariaga. Oh, straight to goalie. Although, shot's a shot. And the highlights continuing. We're going at them again. And Humez is in. And Humez has made it 1 now. Both. That's his 58th goal overall this season. Honestly, I cannot believe I've got him. But if he goes, because someone comes in for him, which I wouldn't surprise me, I've got a youngster sitting there with doubles for finishing. So there is that. But we're now 1 0 up. This is good. And this just made my first season a lot easier. Because you noticed that last time when I had it, compared to Dodge's game, and we are on total different spectrums with the game, his was a lot more fluent than mine was because he had the players added in. He ran all these dummy tests for us, adding that as went straight for it. And this time I went, right, okay, let's do something different. So Rasmussen is in and oof, almost made it too. But make sure you go check Dodgy, really good guy, and his Minneapolis series is brilliant as well. But our closest rivals, the Columbus Academy, they're currently winning 3-0. But we're doing absolutely fantastic now, so this is grand to see. Now we're just coming up for halftime, but they've got a free kick here, and it's away. Humez has picked up. He's running the right wing. Oh, look at him go. Is he going to be fouled? He has been. Who is going to take the penalty? I've got no idea. It is. Draw. And he's made it too. Good, good. This is the 11th goal of the season. So yeah, Humez has scored all these goals, but the goals are still coming from elsewhere, and that's what you want. So 2 0, happy days. It's just, it's comfortable. Let's put it that way. And I think we're just going to go into half time at 2 0 by the looks of that. So I'll go talk to the boys at half time. I'll see you folks in the second half. Stay tuned. Second half's underway. And it's free kick. It's whipped in. It's all the way out to Daniel. Whips in again. And Ramirez, 21st goal. So, like I said, Jimenez isn't our only goal scorer. So, he's got 50 odd. Ramirez has got 20 odd. And Shaw has got 11. So, combine that all together. And you're at nearly 90 goals between just those three people. So we're doing well. I like this. And it just shows these guys are in the playoff positions, I think. And we're just taking them apart. So it shows the quality I've got in this save compared to the last save. 
And that's no disrespect to the players in the last save, because I loved my last save, but... You know, things are different in the save. Two maids. I think this is more interactive because, uh, it's funny seeing this, but I'm winning. I'm getting the results I need. I've got players that are actually good and decent at this level, whereas last time I had to fight, scratch and claw for everything I got. But now, I'm going to go make some subs. So just to keep the footness going, I've brought in the goalkeeper Lopez in defence, because, well, he can header the ball, I'm guessing. So if he scores, that'll be hilarious. Uh, Ramirez is just a goal to slide, unfortunately, I'm guessing he was offside. Yeah, he's offside, you can see it there. It's a wee foot offside. I love that we bring out the VR angles, look, we have VR at this level. I've also brought Sobolov, who is a striker, but I've played in midfield a few times. In midfield for Rasmussen. And Malone has come on up top. And it's a goal for Saeed Malone, there we go, I just spoke about him. That's 4 now. now. That alone, those inspire subs. Deserve a like, share, comment, and all the good jazz. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, FM underscore Edinburgh. You won't be disappointed. There's gifts, and there's general laughter, and there's me trying to hustle away, get my channel to grow. If you've seen it already, you know what I'm on about. Anyone from the Independent is watching me, then sorry I hijacked your tweet, but I had to hustle somehow, guys. I'm just going to drop the praise. I think this is a good time to drop the praise. There we go. Praise has been dropped, and the faces are Sea of Green, Perez with a free kick. The way. Shaw, Perez, Shaw, Perez. Draw. Servers. Malone. Oof. Oh, highlights continuing. Okay, their goal is whipped upfield. Being whipped back downfield. Servers. Malone. Oh, no side. Alright, fair enough. But we're going to cruise into this 4 0 win here. Happy days. But now, we're going to see where we're coming back. So it'll be the last game of the season we're coming back for. But let's go find out who that is. Well, folks, Saturday's episode will be us taking on Atletico St. Louis at home. So the crow's nest will be full. But thank you once again for joining me. And up here, I'll be telling you that you can watch X, Y, and Z. Or over here, hey, hey I'm learning. It will show you my badge and you can click it and subscribe to me. Well, thank you very much for joining me, folks. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye-bye now.